Just over 30 years ago, a landmark decision was made for the development of Sarawak's first hydroelectric plant at Batang Ai in the Sri Aman division. The project involved the construction of a dam across the Batang Ai at Wong Iru, creating a 21,000-acre artificial lake and the resettlement of about 3,000 residents from 26 longhouses. This engineering breakthrough started operations in 1985 and has continuously and reliably produced abundant, affordable and sustainable electricity since, in the process reducing the state's reliance on fossil fuel. In 2014, the Batang Ai Hydroelectric Plant won the Sarawak Chief Minister's Environmental Award. Its well-planned design and high level of operational and maintenance standards have ensured a clean safety record since its commissioning. The development of Sarawak's modern power transmission grid began with the Batang Ai Hydroelectric Plant, forming a network connecting Cebu, Bintulu and Miri. For the past three decades, the plant has directly benefited locals by providing employment opportunities. In the process, growing their experience in the construction and management of hydroelectric plants. The living standard of the people in Batang Ai has also improved significantly. Many longhouses now have basic conveniences, such as electricity and piped water as well as better access to amenities such as education and health, unlike 30 years ago. Improved access to the water catchment area has spawned thriving freshwater aquaculture activities. As a result, Batang Ai Tilapia is renowned throughout the state and sold to local and international markets. Tourists visit Batang Ai to experience the natural beauty, rich longhouse culture, excellent sports fishing, and potential sightings of hornbills and orangutans. These in turn provide an additional source of income for the local community. Ecotourism has increased the availability of local jobs, keeping young people in the area and helping to create a vibrant community. The development of Batang Ai is based on sustainability principles. A key focus was the effective conservation of its primary rainforest, as there is a high heritage value in Batang Ai's pristine jungle. In 1989, Batang Ai was gazetted as a national park and totally protected area, creating a safe haven for the highly endangered local Bornean orangutan population. The numbers have risen steadily since the establishment of the catchment area, making Batang Ai National Park the most densely populated orangutan habitat in Borneo. The park and catchment area also act to protect part of the Lanja Entimao Wildlife Sanctuary in Sarawak and the Betong Kurihun National Park in Indonesia, a transboundary conservation zone crucial to the future survival of these Bornean orangutans. These conservation efforts have made Batang Ai a preferred destination for low-impact ecotourism and rainforest research. Visitors have the option of an award-winning five-star hotel located on the lake shores or a riverside longhouse homestay to enjoy nature at its best. In growing together, Sarawak Energy and the Batang Ai community have undertaken joint activities such as Gawai celebrations and the recent conversion from diesel to solar generation at remote Rumah Mangat and Rumah Kino. Batang Ai means Great River in Iban. In living up to its name, Batang Ai has become synonymous with the creation of sustainable energy in Sarawak. Today, the Batang Ai hydroelectric plant continues to be a reliable source of energy, contributing to the state's economy and generating substantial local socio-economic benefits. The Batang Ai hydroelectric plant is poised to deliver 
at least another 30 years of safe, clean and reliable energy for the long-term development of Sarawak. Batang Ai Hydroelectric Plant, creating value 30 years and beyond.